<laughs> Alright, I'm going to show you how to deal with audio that's only on one channel of your clip. For instance, down here we can see it's only on the left side. Um, there's a few different ways to deal with this. Uh, if it's not already on your timeline, you can right click on the clip and go to modify audio channels, switch the profile to mono, it'll automatically make the channel mono. So when I bring it in, yes I want to make it mono, when I bring it in, now it's going to have two mono files and it will play mono. Um, that's fine if you already have it, uh, if it's not already on your timeline. If it's already on your timeline, you'll notice that if you try to do that, it's grayed out. So, there's a couple different ways. If you go into the audio mixer at the top here, audio track mixer, and if it's not there, um, you just go under window, uh, audio track mixer. You can turn it off and on. This is how it looks sort of normal. If you click on this little arrow at the top here, it's going to give you a, a drop down with the ability to put plugins in. With a little drop down here, you can go to special and there's something called fill left and fill right. These are basically going to take that mono track that we have over here, left side only. We're going to say fill left, I believe. And it took the left and filled the stereo track and now we have the same thing on both sides. Now the other way to do this is to use a submix so if we click on our timeline, just anywhere where there's not a track in that sort of area, right click, add a track, we want to add zero audio tracks, zero video tracks, and one submix track. We want that submix track to be mono. What we're trying to do is take this stereo channel and make it mono. Okay, now we have a submix one over in the mix window and it is a mono uh, track. So now these are your output selections for each of your tracks. This first track is obviously A1, it's where my audio is, mono, on the left side, so now we click that we want to send it to the submix. Now because I'm sending this to the submix and the submix is mono, it's got rid of our panner and now the audio is going to come out in stereo. Which is essentially the same thing as putting that plugin on, but now you don't have to put any plugins and you can just route all your audio through the submix and you're basically done. And there you go, I hope that helps you.